Today, I am having an intervention with myself. Literally my favorite. So they're so tight. It's literally broken. Today I'm trying on every single thing that is in my closet and there are some caveats to this because for one, I do have a lot of stuff in the dirty clothes right now, but that stuff obviously are things that I wear because it's dirty. But there are a lot of things in my closet that I don't necessarily wear a lot and one thing that I'm trying to be a lot better at is being more of a minimalist. And I'm not saying I'm one of the minimalists who like has a capsule wardrobe and really doesn't own a lot of stuff. Ever since moving to New York City and living in such a small tight area it's been really hard for me to have a lot of stuff and I naturally feel like for myself personally I just feel a lot more content when I don't have a ton of stuff and so today I am purging my closet my name is Michelle Reed if you guys are new here you should hit that subscribe button I post twice a week I post a lot of different videos here on my channel but this is kind of a new thing for me I did a Marie Kondo video a while ago in May and that was kind of my biggest purge but I still think it's really good to do this maybe like once every six months to your closet to get Get rid of stuff. I'm a huge fan of Sarah Therese. She is one of my favorite YouTubers and she does a lot of videos on minimalism. There's a verse in 1 Timothy that says godliness with contentment is great gain and I think this is really true with the amount of stuff that you have. For me personally I am a YouTuber and I'm very fortunate to get a lot of stuff sent for me for free. I'm at the point in my life where I'm starting to say no to getting PR packages. Yeah I'm kind of making the shift in my life where I don't want to have as much stuff and I think the best way to start that off is just to go through everything I have and try it on so that is what today's video is if I haven't worn something in the past like six months it's definitely got to go if it's just something that I bought but I've never worn and I'm telling myself I need to keep it because I've never worn it that's got to go and if it's just kind of served me for a while and I liked it but I don't wear it as much anymore that also has to go so those are my things that I'm trying to stick with today I also used to be a huge fan of Poshmark which I still am but I just do not have the time to do that with all this stuff and so most of the stuff is going to be donated i might keep some things to put on poshmark but for now that is it and i also did a really bad job of self tanning in this new apartment that i have i have my own room which is something that i've loved because i feel like it's the one space that's totally just mine and with my room i've done a really good job of not having a lot of stuff in here i don't like clutter i don't like keeping things for the sake of keeping things. I don't have a problem with departing with things and that is one thing that I'm trying to do that more because my closet is an area where I feel like I just have a whole lot of things that need to go. Also, if you clicked on this video and you think it's gonna be one of those try on videos where they take off their clothes and show themselves taking off their clothes, this is not that video. Just not my vibe. Let's go. I've had this leather jacket for a very long time. I originally got this from Brandy Melville back in the day. I actually wear this all the time. It's one of my favorite jackets because I feel like whenever you go out, it's like a good jacket to wear and I still really like it. So we're keeping this. This is my parka that I literally spend about nine months of the year in New York City in, so this is not gonna go. It's literally the warmest thing that I own and I wear this basically every day in the winter time. So it's also staying. I got this blazer a while ago at Lulu's and I really actually like this blazer, but I feel like I have not worn this in a very long time. Mm, I do really like this. But one of the things that I said was that I'm not gonna keep things that I haven't worn in a while. So this is going to go. This jacket I actually wear pretty much every day because I've been running outside and it's like the perfect lightweight but warm jacket. So this is also gonna say, fun fact, I actually bought this in an airport in a vending machine and it's one of my favorite jackets. This is a new piece that I actually just got and this is definitely staying because it is literally my favorite jacket that I own. It's so long. I got this from Petite Studio. It's like my favorite jacket. If you guys follow me on Instagram, which you should, I literally post about this every single day. It's currently my favorite. This blazer I got a very long time ago. I actually wore this one of my job interviews that I did not get the job in. So I kind of feel like this blazer is a little bit cursed. It is from H&M. It's just not great quality. The material in it is just a little little bit thin and I really never wear this. I also kind of feel like a doctor when I wear this. This blazer is actually one of my favorite blazers because I think the color of it is so pretty and in the summertime I actually feel like I do wear this one a lot. I think it's really just like cute and the color is pretty. This one is also really cute. I feel like this one just like fits me 
really well but i also have not really worn this one in a very long time and i also feel like it's a little snug so this one is also gonna go i think i'm gonna keep this one this one is quite possibly my favorite sweater that i own i actually just thrifted this one gosh this is hard i feel like everything that i put on i'm saying is my favorite literally my favorite favorite one of my favorite shape my favorite one of my favorite pants i need to wear this one more i really like this one i feel like this is one of these things that if i get rid of other stuff i'll wear this one more so this is a sweater that is literally totally see-through and i never really wear this one that much because i can never find stuff to wear it with because it's so see-through so this one is definitely going away i've had this one for a really long time i actually wear this one quite a bit i wear this one a lot to church because i just feel like it's a good like church shirt and I also like the color. I think it's just like a pretty color. It's cute with jeans. So I think this one is also going to stay. So this is one of those shirts that I actually got sent to me. And I always felt like I needed to keep it because it was sent to me. But being completely honest, I'm just like not a fan. I feel like it's super unflattering and just like makes my body look so weird. I do like this one for traveling because it's comfy. But I don't think it's worth keeping things just because you can go on a plane in it. I really like this shirt. I feel like I wear this shirt all the time. But the skirt is just way too tight. My underwear lines literally show through it. So I'm just probably gonna get rid of the skirt but keep the shirt because I really do like this. Yeah, I don't know why I ordered an extra small on the skirt because it's really, really tight. I feel like I'm going to a picnic. These pants are actually some of my favorite pants that I own. I got these in Napa when I went. And I think that they're so cute. They're like the culotte style. It's hard to show on this camera. They got like a nice wide leg and they're honestly super comfortable. They're a little big, but I still wear them. So we're going to keep these. So I actually got these pants from Express when I did a sponsorship with them. And they are some of my favorite pants. I think that they're so like cute and stretchy and they have this really nice little like leg detailing. I honestly just never wear these. These ones are gonna go. Any chance that I get to wear these pants, I always wear them because I love them. These are from Princess Polly. They're like these high-waisted bedazzled pants and they're just so comfortable. Every time I wear these, I feel really cool. This is a jacket that I've also shown a lot in my vlogs lately. This is one of my favorite jackets as well. I feel like I wear this one all the time. It's so comfy and it's also just really cute. I love bomber style jackets, so this one is also going to stay. I've always just ignored the fact that they're so tight, but today is the day that I get rid of them because I literally cannot breathe in these. They're so tight and the pattern on them is just like not great when they're that tight, so... <laughs> probably once a week in the summertime. This is my favorite jumpsuit. It's so cute. It's linen, really, really comfy. Back is really cute and open and I really like it. And even though it's not summertime, I'm gonna save this cause I love this jumpsuit. Just got this dress from Princess Polly. It's one of my favorite dresses, but it is really nice. And so I don't have a ton of occasion to wear it too, but I did just wear it to my three year anniversary with Aiden. And so I really like this dress. I think it's really classy and just simple and pretty, like a good length. And so this is definitely staying. Another thing I'm trying to do is get rid of things that are just too short because a lot of times I buy things and they're too short, but they're cute. So I keep them and then I never wear them. This is one of those things. I love this dress. It's so cute, but I would never wear this in New York City walking around because it's just too short wind blows you flash everyone and it's not good so this shirt is also see-through so i'm covering it but it actually is one of my favorite little turtlenecks i was wearing like a little cami under this she really like it hmm honestly like cute but i feel like i never wear it so this one is going this dress is cute but it's also a little much. Like I feel like I don't wear it because it's so much going on. So I have like no hips and I feel like this dress makes me look like I do have hips. And so I've been keeping it for that reason, but I don't wear it. So it's also gone. Oh. This is one 
one that is actually very recent. I actually really love this. I got this in the summer. It's from Aritzia and it has a little tie in the back. It's a really pretty light pink color. Obviously this is very much more of a spring outfit, but I think it's really cute and it's gonna stay. This is a shirt that I got a little while ago, but it's cheetah and I'm all for cheetah, but I feel like this shirt is just like cheetah overload. And I think it's cute. I feel like it would be cute like, okay, wait. This is actually kind of cute. I was about to give this one away, but now I'm kind of into it. I think I just convinced myself to keep it. This dress is literally broken. Like, what is going on? It is so short. Like, I literally can't move in this. It is so short. This has to go. I really like this sweater dress, but yet again, it is just so short. I literally could not go out in this. I used to like wear it with tights and I felt like it was fine, but now I just am a grandma. So this has also got to go. I feel like this sweater that I'm wearing looks like something that you'd see on like one of those Pinterest boards of like the girls, like drinking coffee and being all like warm and cozy. It's one of my favorite sweaters. I love this. This is definitely staying. I think it's so cute when it's like cold, but you can still show a little bit of your shoulder. that I've had for a while and it has always been too big but I still wear it anyways. Not super flattering. I have worn this a lot and I did wear it a lot. Now there's like this meme page in New York where they literally post pictures of girls in cheetah mini skirts. So I'm kind of afraid I'm gonna get on that so this one is gonna go. This is another skirt that I've had for a while. I actually love this skirt but I've literally had it since freshman year of college and I just feel like freshman year of college things should it still be in my closet? I think I'm gonna give this one up. It's from Uniqlo. I do really like it, but it's like very springy. And I feel like by the time spring 2020 rolls around, I'm not actually gonna wanna wear this anymore. So we're gonna depart, but I do really like this one. This, my friends, is the last item that I am going through in my closet. That is a very fluffy cheetah coat that I got a very long time ago, but has always made me feel like Macklemore every time I wear it. And this I think is going. I do like it. It's very warm. It's very fuzzy. I don't really like the sheen on it. I feel like it's a little weird. I just got all those new jackets. I do not have the space for this anymore. So this is leaving and it's the last item that I have to purge. Here's the after of my closet. After the before. <laughs> still has a lot in it but it's definitely a lot more decluttered and I would highly recommend you guys to do this like literally take four hours it show every single clip on camera but I did try everything on and just get rid of it if it doesn't really work the minute you put it on or it doesn't bring you joy as Marie Kondo says like ditch it like you'll feel so much better and I feel so much better I highly recommend it let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this I am a huge fan of kind of shifting the mindset on YouTube instead of like buying things to bring you joy to like being content with the things that you have and that's like a personal journey that I'm going through right now that I'm trying to really focus on and obviously this channel is all about my own personal journey so I feel like I'm gonna start doing more videos like this try to just like clean talk about things that are actually important instead of like materialistic items not that i don't like to shop not that i don't like nice things i do i really do but i do think i gotta start somewhere i love you guys so much thank you guys so much for watching this video again don't forget to subscribe if you're new if you just stumbled across this video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye friends